another selfie phone has arrived. Welcome the Oppo Reno 7 5G. With the promise of DSLR-like photos, this device still claims to be the portrait expert. But how is it different from last year? And apart from getting good-looking selfies, what else can this phone offer? Well, that's what we're finding out today. Hey guys, it's Vika. You're with The Modern Creatures and welcome to another video. Today's review is all about the Oppo Reno 7 5G. If what you're after is a slim and compact phone, the Oppo Reno 7 5G is just that. Weighing just 173 grams and less than 8 millimeters thick, you've got a phone that can easily slip in and out of your pocket. The sides are gently curved, making it easy to grip, and the size of the device is perfect for me to use with just one hand. We have the Reno 7 in its starry black colorway, where dark blue graduates to a lighter shade, and tiny reflective speckles mimic the night sky. It's definitely the subtle option compared to the Star Trails Blue, which is more bright and iridescent. I also really like the matte finish of this phone as it's practically fingerprint resistant. Apart from a small OPPO branding to the side, the rest of the back remains clean. Additionally, both the back and the frame are made of plastic, which is kind of a downgrade from last year's aluminum frame. On its right, we find the power button, while on the left, we have the volume control buttons and the SIM card tray. Unlike the Reno 6, the Reno 7 can not just accommodate two SIM cards, but also a micro SD card for storage expansion. We also still have a 3.5mm headphone jack here beside the USB-C charging port and a single speaker. An in-display fingerprint sensor is also available and has been very fast and responsive so far. The Oppo Reno 7 5G is fronted by a 6.4-inch Full HD display with a high 90Hz refresh rate. We still have an AMOLED screen, meaning colors pop and blacks are deep. The Reno 7 doesn't offer dynamic refresh rates though, so you're stuck between choosing standard and high. How this affects battery life, we'll find out later. Bezels are thin all around, save for the chin, which is the thickest. A punch hole notch hides the selfie camera in the upper left corner. This display also now supports HDR10 Plus and unlocks HD streaming on both Netflix and Amazon Prime Video. The Reno 7's display is a joy to use whether I'm working or watching. Colors are relatively accurate and well saturated. Details aren't lost in the shadows, sharpness is consistent, and brightness is pretty adequate, though it sometimes struggles under bright light. And with Corning Gorilla Glass 5, it's durable too. While my eyes did enjoy the colors and smooth movement, my ears were wishing for better sound. The Reno 7 can get pretty loud, I'll give it that but the single speaker kind of takes away from the whole entertainment experience. You are watching in HD, but you'll have to compromise with not so great audio. But as I mentioned, you do have a headphone jack so you can plug in your peripherals for better sound quality. AppX HD is also supported for Bluetooth so you can get high quality audio even when you go wireless. Alright, so let's get into how this phone performs. At its heart is a MediaTek Dimensity 900 5G and yes, this is the same processor from last year as well. The device comes in a single configuration housing 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. As mentioned earlier, this is expandable. The Reno 7 also offers RAM expansion up to 5GB. This gives you a total of 13GB of RAM which the phone will churn out when you need it the most. With that, more than sufficient power was available to do all my usual daily tasks, whether it was browsing through websites, going through YouTube, anything like that was handled with ease. The Reno 7 also offers quick startup for games that freezes the state it's in. This becomes handy when jumping from app to app since you won't have to launch it again and just continue from where you took off. More on gaming, Oppo has equipped the Reno 7 with different technologies to maintain consistent performance. Testing this out on games like Pokemon Unite or Mobile Legends, the phone is able to keep up effortlessly. Graphics are nice and clean, frame rates were stable, and lags and glitches didn't come my way. Heat hasn't been a problem for me though I did only play continuously for about an hour or so. But even in using the cameras for an extended period of time, this issue didn't come up. Out of the box, the Oppo Reno 7 5G runs the company's Color OS 12 based on Android 11. In terms of bloatware, there are a few but these can easily be uninstalled. Other than that, the OS is relatively clean and fast. I love the personalization 
customization options here which give you the flexibility to change icon shape, color themes, and so much more. We also have Oppo's Apple-like emoji which is super cute and fun to customize. But apart from using it as my profile photo for my Oppo ID, I don't really know what else to do with it. It is pretty cute though and it does well in mimicking my facial expressions. Snaps are handled by a triple camera setup consisting of a 64 megapixel main, 8 megapixel wide angle, and 2 megapixel macro. For selfies, we have a 32 megapixel shooter. Let's change things up a bit by talking about the selfie camera first. This is the portrait expert after all. In well-lit environments, selfies are sharp and detailed. The device also captures pretty natural skin color and adds just enough sharpness to make photos pop. Even in moderate lighting, we still get good-looking selfies, though we do lose some sharpness, which is expected. But if you don't zoom into the details, the overall photo looks pretty great. Switch to portrait mode and you get that defocused background look. You have a slider to control the strength of the bokeh as well. I find that going for the lowest setting though can make the background blur look too artificial, so I suggest keeping it at a higher value. This is also available for video which I really like, especially if you use the rear cameras. Of course, what's a selfie phone without beautification filters? And these do a good job of refreshing your face. Just be careful not to go overboard. Filters are also available and include Oppo's AI Color Portrait and Bokeh Flare Portrait. For the rear, we get pretty standard performance with this familiar setup. In daylight, snaps are clear and detailed with little to no noise. Come nighttime, however, photos start losing their detail. Still, there's some clarity left when you look at the picture as a whole, but zoom in on the smaller details and you'll see that they're almost unrecognizable. Night mode does help to bring back details and reduce noise. Overall, I see no big jump in features or quality with this year's Reno 7, but it remains to be a capable everyday snapper, whether for selfies or otherwise. The Oppo Reno 7 5G is equipped with a 4,500 mAh battery. While this may seem small compared to other offerings, it does support 65W Super VOOC charging that was able to top up the device in about 40 minutes. Daily use with its high refresh rate enabled, the Reno 7 was able to last a full working day. This was in using the device for the usual browsing, but also with moderate use of its camera and some light gaming. Opting for a lower refresh rate, however, gave me a few extra hours of battery, so that may be something you can do if you need the phone to last longer. In our reviews, the Modern Creatures aims to find special features in devices that make them stand out from their competitors. It's Creature Feature. And for the Oppo Reno 7 5G, it would have to be its compact size. What I like most about the Oppo Reno 7 5G is that it's so slim and that it fits perfectly in my hand. Compact phones aren't a rarity, but there aren't plenty either. And while I do love having big displays, the Oppo Reno 7 5G made me appreciate having such a slim phone that's easy to bring around and no fuss to use. So what do we think about the Oppo Reno 7 5G? Well, if you already own last year's Reno 6, there may not be enough here to entice you to upgrade. But if you're looking for a new, slim and compact device that offers well-rounded performance and high-quality cameras, you may want to check this phone out. And that's that for our review of the Oppo Reno 7 5G. As usual, please do visit our website and our other social media channels for more news, features, and reviews. Once again, I'm Vika. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.